What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? No zoop for you here, and yeah, this is aircraft carrier footage. And whenever you see me playing in aircraft carriers, that obviously means we're going to be talking about aircraft carriers. And as of late, it's never a good thing when we're talking about aircraft carriers. And for many of you that have seen the news as of late, you know this is not going to be a good news video. In fact, quite the contrary. Because once again, aircraft carriers are at the forefront of controversy. For two different reasons. The first one is armor-piercing rockets. And I mean, I, I, I just... I'm baffled. I am quite befuddled. Honestly, just when I think that you can't do anything more silly, Wargaming's like, hold my beer. Despite the public outcry, despite everybody saying this is a horrible idea, this doesn't make any sense, and the crazy thing about it is, they don't have to answer why they're doing it. It really almost seems at this point like whoever is going on a crazy trip at the moment and has a strange idea thrown up on a board, they just run with it. I mean, how else do you get armored piercing rockets? Something this game absolutely does not need, in my opinion. So anyhow, Wargaming says, Please note the information in the development blog is preliminary and subject to change. Soon there will be a closed test session for attacked aircraft carrying armor-piercing rockets. Please note that if the results are positive at the end of the test, detailed information about the future usage of this concept will follow. The mechanics of these new rockets are similar to that of armor-piercing shells, with the main difference being, just like with armor-piercing shells, that their armor penetration is not dependent on the distance they're fired from, but instead a constant value. As per the current concept, these rockets on Tier 10 aircraft carrier squadrons will be close to 203mm armor-piercing shells in terms of efficiency against different classes. So, right there, you've basically got an airplane with cruiser AP. 203mm shells. That's cruiser territory right there. Upon hitting destroyers, there will often be overpenetrations, and the total damage will be lower than with standard rockets. The new rockets will be most effective against cruisers due to their ability to hit their citadel and deal significant damage. When attacking battleships, most damage will be dealt when targeting the casemates. The penetration won't be high enough to pass through the citadel's armor belt. So, hey, congratulations. You know, carriers are good against destroyers and battleships, and you know what? Why, why not make them good against cruisers as well? The one thing that can effectively swat them down, we're just going to add something that can absolutely obliterate them. Let's give them some 203 millimeter AP shells, or at least the damage of that. And uh, you know what? Let's let's start wrecking. Let's start wrecking Woostas and Minotaurs and all of them. You know, because carriers aren't annoying enough at this point. I mean, seriously, can, can you imagine? And you know, I'm playing a midway right now, and this just reminds me of how obscenely ridiculous they still are against destroyers. The the bombers on these things. I haven't played the midway in ages. This is my first round in the midway, and I was absolutely able to wreck a destroyer here and there, and it's just sad. So, if you've got a midway now, you can use your HE against destroyers, and you can use your HE bombs against battleships, and now you've got AP rockets, and you just use those against cruisers, and Midway is all of a sudden just able to obliterate everything in its path. It's a great idea right there. Great idea. I mean, bravo, bravo. And seriously, I, I hope that these tests show that this idea should just be discarded, thrown in the waste bin, and not thought of again. So that's, that's the first big thing regarding aircraft carriers. The second big thing is their introduction into clan battles and just about everything else that was once safe from aircraft carriers. And again, most of you think this is a bad idea. Most of you don't like this idea. I don't like this idea. Clan battles and rank gameplay and rank sprint were like the last bastion free of aircraft carriers. And, you know, I was just talking about aircraft carriers and their effect on destroyers, and we've harped on this for ages. Can you imagine this in a clan setting? Or a ranked battle setting? Or a sprint setting? I mean, the poor destroyers out there, seriously. Now, they're going to temper it, and one of the game modes, you have your choice of either one battleship or one carrier. So, either or. But still, if you take a carrier that... It, gives you an advantage. I mean, the ability to hunt down destroyers that most likely would have been hidden otherwise, it gives you a distinct advantage, especially if you have a well-seasoned 
aircraft carrier captain playing. You got someone who knows how to play aircraft carriers, slinging those fighters, those attack aircraft around. I mean, it's it's gonna make for well. Let, let's just say that those of you that are sold on clan battles and invested in it, I I hope it's not as bad as I think it's gonna be. I hope it's not that bad. I I really hope. But you know what? The the, the decisions here are just mind-boggling. It's it's like the player base, or at least the vocal player base, has completely been ignored. For the past year, that is. I'm not going to say I hate aircraft carriers. I, uh, I mean, they're enjoyable sometimes. But you can't ignore the advantages that they provide, especially when you have a good aircraft carrier player. Just as the old aircraft carriers were the same. You know, the skill gap, I feel, is there, though not as bad. I, I don't know. I, I just... Guys, I'm at a loss. I'm really at a loss right now. I'm at a loss on the decisions, and I'm at a loss at why why we're going to do this to carriers right now, why we're going to introduce armored-piercing rockets, something that no one's asked for. I mean, of all the things you know, I could have thought up, dreamt up, that Wargaming would do, armored-piercing rockets are... It, it wasn't even an afterthought. I didn't even think of that. I mean, yeah, I thought rockets might make it in one day, you know, ship the ship rockets, something like that, and I thought that would have been silly. But to actually introduce armored piercing rockets for airplanes? That's just a whole different level of craziness right there. Who knows? May maybe the testing will show that it's not that bad, but I've already seen some screenshots from super testers showing that. They're Citadel machines, and unless they're highly tweaked, I, I don't know, from what I'm seeing, it might not be good. And if they are highly tweaked, what's the point of even having them? You know, I, a, a good player using AP bombs can damage a cruiser. Fairly well, I might add, and you all know that as well. So why do we need to have to throw something else into the uh, mix with these attack aircraft? I, I just don't get it. Anyhow, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about armored-piercing rockets, and what do you think about aircraft carriers being used in ranked gameplay modes and clan battles and sprint and all that? Are you looking forward to it? Do you want to see it? Or are you more like me, where you're kind of uh, thinking that might not be a great idea? Interested? No. Put your thoughts in the comments of this video. Hope you all are doing phenomenal. I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.